from your previous plate you probably would have determined that your unknown contains x number of standards. For example, let us say that I found out that there were two spots for my unknown in the plate that I previously did. So then for the confirmatory plate, I am going to choose those two standards to do the plate along with the unknown. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is at the spot where I have labeled it 1, I will spot one of the standards that was found to be present in my unknown. For example, if I found out that one of the spots in my unknown corresponded to ferrocene, then I will spot ferrocene here. And on the next spot here, I am going to apply the second standard that was found to be present. Let us say I found that my standard, my unknown sorry, had two nitro aniline in it. So then I am going to apply standard two nitro aniline on this spot number two here. So the first was ferrocene, second was 2 nitroaniline because those were the two spots that I found in my unknown. Now what goes on the third spot? On the third spot you are going to apply a mixture of these two standards. You want to apply the mixture of standards in the following fashion. You do not want to make a mixture of the standards. You want to apply the first standard, let it dry and then you apply the second standard over the same spot. That is what we mean by applying the mixture of compounds. So in this case, you would have applied mixture of the first two standards that were found to be present in the unknown. On the fourth spot, what you want to do is apply your unknown as well as the standards that were found to be present in your unknown. In other words, apply the unknown and then on top of it apply the first standard and then on top of the same spot you will apply the second standard that was found to be present. So on this plate, I will have four spots. If it was found that you had more than two standards present in your unknown, you will do the same procedure except that you will have three standards and your mixture of standards will have three spottings of three different standards, etc. So once you have finished applying the samples in this fashion, you will develop the plate and then analyze all the spots, determine the RFs for all the spots and then analyze the results deduced from these RF values.